crash happened around 11.35 this morning. Now, Myrtle Beach officials tell me that the pilot was the only one on the plane, and he was transported to a local hospital and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Now, beachgoers tell me that they ran into the water to help that pilot, and a viewer sent me exclusive video to ABC 15 the moment the plane hit the water. We looked over and we saw the banner plane coming by, and the banner plane, all of a sudden the banner started going lower and lower and lower. And my wife said, oh my God, the banner's in the water. It was coming in very low, and that's what I noticed first, and then it just kind of nosedived at a 45 degree angle down into the water. This is the last thing these beachgoers ever expected to see on a picture perfect beach day. I was running down the beach, and I got to the point right in front of where the plane was, and I took off my shoes, put my wallet, my glasses, my shirt on the beach, and I swam out to the plane. He was just one of multiple beachgoers jumping into action to help the pilot. This is Ryan Cagno's family's first day of vacation. There was a couple of people that grabbed the rope that was holding the banner, and were trying to pull that in. Other, A bunch of other guys had the wing, and were trying to kind of pull it in with the waves, but then also lift it. They were able to move the plane into shallow water. Cagno says the pilot was struggling to get off his seatbelt. It was around like his legs, so his head was up at the top of the cabin and he was breathing and talking to us. Thankfully, the pilot was pulled out of the single-engine Piper PA-18. By that time, the lifeguards were there around the plane. When I was next to the co open cockpit and helped the lifeguard pull him out of the plane, but the first question that he asked me was, did I hit anyone? Myrtle Beach police worked with the Coast Guard, the FAA, and SCDNR to make sure the plane was safely removed from the ocean. People rushed off the beach to try to save this guy. And, and it was not like a joint or like a single effort. It was everybody working together. Today's incident happened near 40th Avenue North Beach Access. The plane was identified as a single-engine Piper PA-18. Commercials airline pilot and flight instructor Robert Katz tells me when a pilot is operating a plane, there are two different sets of rules they must follow. If you've ever been to the beach, you've probably seen a plane pulling an advertisement behind it. For one beachgoer, he didn't expect to be pulling a pilot out of a plane today. We looked over and we saw the banner plane coming by, and the banner plane, all of a sudden the banner started going lower and lower and lower. And my wife said, oh my God, the banner's in the water. Jordan says he ran down the beach to the crashed banner plane where he helped pull the pilot out. By that time, the lifeguards were there around the plane, and I was next to the co open cockpit and helped the lifeguard pull him out of the plane, but the first question that he asked me was, did I hit anyone? Unlike planes that fly thousands of feet above ground, banner towing planes aren't required to submit flight plans. Kat says there are two different set of rules pilots must follow when operating an aircraft. The first is called visual flight rule. He says this means that a pilot is able to see where they're going and can navigate visually. Everything is uh, everything about a banner towing operation is going to be under visual flight rules and it's going to be at a low altitude and a slow speed. He adds that VFR is not required when weather conditions are good. The other is called instrument flight rules, which Katz says is always required for pilots to fill out the route they plan on flying, altitude, and other details such as that. Under instrument flight rules, which did not apply in the case of this banner tow incident, um, it's always required uh, because there's so much more detail involved in not only search and rescue, but also the intentions of the pilot. Today's incident was the fourth crash that the company Barnstormers Aerial Advertising LLC has had in 28 years. Two of those crashes involved the same plane as yesterday. Multiple mishaps. That's what records from both the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board show for the banner plane that crashed into the ocean Monday. According to the FAA's aircraft inquiry, the plane's tail number is N3036M and the registered owner is Barnstormers Aerial Advertising LLC. Two reports from the NTSB named this plane as being involved in two separate crashes. In July 1995 in North Myrtle Beach, the plane collided with a ditch during takeoff and in April 2009 in Georgetown, the pilot lost directional control of the aircraft. Federal reports on all three crashes show the plane involved is the same. 
in May of last year, a different plane crashed in North Myrtle Beach, killing the 56-year-old pilot. The FAA confirmed to ABC 15 that plane was also owned by Barnstormers Aerial Advertising LLC at the time of the crash. When I asked the FAA about its standards and guidelines for approving and revoking licensing for aviation companies, they said in a statement, quote, the FAA investigates all accidents and bases our follow-up actions on evidence. Speaking generally, we often increase our oversight of companies that experience multiple accidents or incidents in a certain period of time.